Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech. Well, a company named Cordy just sent me over a Wi-Fi extender device. Now, what these devices do is basically extends the range of your Wi-Fi throughout the house that you have poor reception. And in the Nerd Cave itself, I have terrible Wi-Fi reception if you've been following me for a while. And I'm hoping this should fix the problem. So let's check it out. So to start off, I actually really like their packaging. I'm actually a big sucker for packaging. If you could package something really nicely, I just think whatever's inside is gold. Now, taking a look at the back of the box, you have the system requirements. The power source, socket should be 110. The wireless LAN client should support WPA. Uh, the WLAN access should have DHCP function and make sure that the WLAN is set, the SSID should be set to visible. And then the ca package contents is the um, extender itself, uh, cable, the user manual, the quick installation guide user manual, and a reset pin. So let's check this out. Now, if you take a look at the box inside, you have this um, guarantee card. I guess it's a warranty that they supply, and then you can find all the information in the back. Then they have the device packaged up in the front, and um, that's really nice too. Next, if you look down in the box itself, uh, after you take this out, uh, you have this little box over here where it seems to me they hold the cable and something else in here. Uh, I'm going to set this down for now. And inside you have two manuals, two installation manuals. Uh, one is the quick guide and one is the user manual itself. So let's take a look at the device. Now judging from the front, you, have, you can see the two antennas. And then uh, you have the Wi-Fi bar the power WPS light, the, dub, the WAN and LAN light, and then the LAN light, and then the button for WPS. On one side, you have the on and off button, and then the three modes, which is access point, repeater, and router. And then on the bottom, you have the two ethernet jacks for WLAN, uh, WAN and LAN, and then LAN itself. Uh, and the other side, you have a reset pin. And then on the bottom, you have the outlet jack, the default IP, the URL, and the username and password for this device. So let's see how hard is it to set it up. Hey guys, before we begin with the setup, I would like to show you Cordy's website. I'm actually gonna leave all the links in the description below. Now they have a lot of other devices than just the Wi-Fi extender itself. So check it out. And here is the device we're actually playing with, which is the E300. Now, right now I'm actually gonna do some preliminary test. Now I'm on my network right now on ethernet cable so if you take a look at the results it's 56 86 uh, i mean 56 download 26 upload and a 9 ms ping so let's disable my ethernet right now and just enable wi-fi and i have poor reception so you're, you're going to see that happening so i'm going to disable that pop over to my wi-fi right now and you see it's only like two bars now it's connected i'm going to run the test again So I'm going to dis disconnect from that and let's go through the setups of the Cordy 300. All right. 192.168.10.1. Admin, admin. So username, default password, username. Submit. And here, if you want to go through a wizard, you would just hit this repeater, which I'm in the repeater mode itself. It's gonna scan for my network, and Friday is what I want. And here, look, it reads its full bars. And I'm gonna name this Friday Rep. And I'm gonna name this Password. Apply. Now this is gonna reboot your extend a Wi-Fi extender. So we'll wait for this to finish. Let's connect to our Friday repeater. So let's try the test again. All right, and here are the results. I got a slightly longer ping, slightly lower download speed, and the upload speed is almost exactly the same. But I actually got a lot more range out of it versus losing a little bit of speed. Now this is a repeater, so wherever you put the repeater, 
it actually takes the signal and repeats it. So if your signal is really strong and you put the Wi-Fi at, um, extender right next to your router, then extend it that way, it's going to get a really good signal. But if you put the Wi-Fi extender in the middle of your house or at the end of the house where the signal is already weak, it's just going to repeat that weaker signal. It's not going to improve most of the speed. And I've actually tested it in multiple locations and the results are almost exactly the same. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, if you got any questions, leave it in the comments below. And remember to enable reply because I have times where you guys are trying to ask me a question. I can't reply and it just makes a whole big mess of stuff. Uh, also, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button. That helps me a lot. Also gives you notification when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hat till it hurts.